Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I kind of wish I would have pulled all these cards on camera because this is a Divine Feminine check-in and it is badass cards, guys. When I was um, shuffling, because I didn't clean up from my last reading, but I was shuffling the Lover's Oracle and the Twin Flame card came out. And there was a video that I was listening to that said, this is your sign. And the twin flame card came out. And then this was the first card from this um, oracle that came out was the twin flame. <clears throat> so I'm going to read it out and I'm going to go like this, guys, like I normally do. Um, the bottom is just places that could resonate for you or your person, anything like that. So we do have concert. We have garden. I just saw 101 when I said that. School. Factory. Um, I'm also getting like dance with this because by, I just saw 111. Kind of around where I live, uh, there's actually a dance studio called Dance Factory and it made me think of that. Then we have frigid realm, so you could live in a very cold place. And then we have scorching land, so you could live in a very hot place. And then we have mountain. So, <clears throat> yeah. Take that if it resonates. Leave the rest. I could be talking about you, but I mean your person and vice versa. Okay? Alright, so we have twin flames, yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. And then we have marriage, number three. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. And then we have concert right under here. So I do feel like you and your twin flame do communicate through music. And um, I'm also getting that in the 5D, like the spiritual realm, you guys could already be married. Another thing when I put down this card was in every past life, you guys end up being in some kind of union where you are together and married. Um, but I do feel like your person is wanting to get to know you better to get to this spot. Because if you come all the way over here, we have engagement, which could mean actual engagement or that your connection is moving up to a higher level of commitment. Okay. We have passion here and then passion here, which is awesome because divine feminines, I feel like sometimes divine masculines are watching um, these videos and they're wondering if the attraction is mutual and it definitely is mutual. Um, we have Distant Horizon, 36. I'm also getting 63 with that. Um, so it, it's probably not right now, but in the Distant Horizon, you can look forward to this. So we have Passion, Insane Chemistry, Like Each Other Equally, and then we have I Like You. So not only do you like them, uh, not only do you love them, but, you know, you like them as a person and they like you as well. Um, equally Having Fun. So I do get the sense that you guys, when you guys come together, it's going to be a very playful, um, like, basically like your best friends that end up marrying each other. A very playful relationship. Um, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And then we have garden. Um, when I just read this just now, <laughs> I did get like a, a garden wedding. So maybe that's something you guys have talked about or maybe someone's thinking about that. We have I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, exactly, want to date. Yeah, I do feel like this is a relationship where you guys are going to continuously flirt with each other. The attraction, the chemistry, the passion is like out of this world. Um, and then we have 34, occupation, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then we have school. So someone could be going to school right now. And that's what they're focusing on. Or it could just be that they're focusing on their work, their career during the separation period. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cold in here. I just saw my breath. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation and meeting or meeting hesitation. So the divine is asking you guys to have patience. Because again, we have distant horizons. So it's not right away, guys. And then we have bad health, 31. So someone could be um, 
working on their health or they're needing to start working on their health. Uh, it could be also affect, affecting their finances and career finance issue. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And then we have occupation. During this separation, I feel like this cube, this, uh, I don't know why I said cube. This square right here is what's important during, um, during separation. And then we have school and factory. So I'm getting like educating yourself, not necessarily going to school, but like doing research um, getting better with your occupation, uh, occupation and like factories, like putting in the work, like becoming a machine with your body. Um, I'm hearing cal calisthenics, which is really cool. Cause it's basically like body resistance. It's one of those, like become beyond human type of vibes. Uh, they be doing some crazy ass shit, but I feel like your health and focusing on your career and finances is what is going to get you through to the next stage in your journey, guys. Um, we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah, so um, the divine is wanting you to build a relationship with money, like finances, career, for you to have this stability. They don't want it to be an issue when you guys come together. I'm not saying you have to make a shit ton of money. It's not about that, guys. Um... But you just need to be more stable, which I understand that, especially, I, I just, I was about to say, especially if you guys have kids, because we have kids that pop up a lot. Um, I, damn, I'm always getting this, a pregnancy. And if you guys are expecting, so maybe you guys are already with your person, or maybe your person is ex expecting, or someone they're with is expecting, so they have to make sure that they have their finances right, um, yeah, there's a whole lot of factors going on, guys. Um, we have lovers right underneath the palm tree, uh, 15. So I do feel like they want to start building a foundation with you here. The lovers always gives me Gemini energy, obviously, because in the original tarot, it is the lovers card. We have passion again with the lovers and passion. Original tarot, the lovers card is the deepest amount of love in the the tarot, besides the ace of cups. So it's a very. Uh, but the thing I like about the lovers is it's a passionate card. It's not just emotions, but it's also passionate. And I love that this card right here shows that a little bit more than the original tarot. And then the doves over here, because I'm I'm being drawn again to the original tarot with the angel looking over, and I, I feel like the doves are like angel. And then we have a gift, 17 on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you guys are each other's gift from God. I'm hearing believe in miracles. And then we have frigid realm <laughs> underneath polar extremes. Maybe some of you live by where I'm I'm at. We're having polar storms coming out the asshole. So um Yeah, maybe maybe someone reaches out during some kind of storm, guys. I'm hearing a thunderstorm, but I'm being drawn to the passion card with that. So maybe someone fantasizes about making love to you in a thunderstorm. Um yeah, so take that how it resonates. We have Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, and we have the scorching lands. I do feel like with that and this, it's going to go really hot and heavy, like real quick. Even if you guys are wanting to take it slow, damn, I keep getting this. Um, Yeah, someone might be pregnant. Like, it could be you or your person that's pregnant. So when you guys come together, you're just going to, like, want to move things quickly because... There's going to be some kind of family dynamic or whatever. And then we have mountains over here and farm underneath that. Just so you guys see it. So these two things can be significant. Maybe your person's... <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. I was going to say maybe your person has like... um the family that has farms or like lives in the mountains or they do or that's something you guys have talked about having in the future like a log home on a lot of land on a mountain or something sorry you guys i had to take a drink all right let me collect this
You know what? I want to leave those. Because you guys can still see underneath. I'll show you the cards too, guys. I'm going to pull some love messages from my deck as well. God, Michael Spirit, can we get messages for the Divine Feminine Page of Pentacles? Yeah, the Divine is telling you guys to get to know each other. Take it a little slow, regardless of whether or not it comes in all hot and heavy. Messages for Divine Feminine. Wow, look at this. Emperor, messages for Divine Feminine. And the Emperor comes out like your Divine Masculine is your true love. And it is going to happen. You just got to give it a little bit of time. But the passion, the magnetic pull, you guys are feeling equally for each other. That's awesome. Feel like you both are each other's wish fulfillment. And you're holding on to each other regardless of whether or not you want to admit it. Uh, we do have the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Um, I do feel like this person is going to be very forward. This Divine Masculine is going to be very forward and take steps to initiate this relationship with you because they do find you to be stable and grounded and like wifey or husband material because, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is that. But as far as um, intellectual and emotional depth, like you're their person. And again, this is a family card with children, guys. So this very well could be, but this is multiple confirmations of engagement or marriage, especially with this queen of pentacles, but this king of swords is not gonna, uh, not gonna let you go for sure. They're gonna, they have a plan in place to keep you. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah. The devil here, it could have to do, it could be suddenly, it could have to do with passionate exercises let's see let's clarify this one make sure they're not coming in some shady ass behavior they have been a lot uh a lot a little bit wow they have been very stubborn because the emperor could be a very stubborn person very stoic not really much of showing the hand right um that's probably why they're coming out as the the king of swords <clears throat> but it's probably because honestly you're in this queen of swords energy so if they're not blunt and up front and like completely explaining how they feel what they want what they want from this connection they feel like you're just gonna cut them off because you're not gonna deal with the bullshit um, what came out to uh, clarify the devil though is the two of cups which is soulmate energy and the king of pentacles so we're seeing divine counterparts with the king and queen of pentacles so they're overly fixate they're overly fixated on this connection and you being the only one for them but they're also overly fixated on um stability and being stable for you for this connection for if they have kids already your family let's let's get some more messages for the divine Feminine. We have the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So this is giving me third-party energy. I'm sorry, guys. Only take it if it resonates. This could just be family, friends, close friends. So just take it how it resonates for your situation. It is falling under separation so i do feel like this person has responsibilities to another feminine energy this could be male or female could be someone there they share friends with it could be someone they know they've known since childhood that they've made investments with already um <clears throat> that they may have children with too as well but this is the important card right here they're walking away from that because all of this no longer serves them. Yeah. They're five of cups. They're too... They miss you too much. They feel lost without you. They feel empty. Um, they feel trapped. They don't know what to do. They know this is a destined connection. Look at this, guys. More confirmation. Now triple confirmation for Twin Flame. 
Look at the lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. And we saw the devil. And the devil and the lovers mirror each other. It's feminine and masculine energy. Masculine energy is the devil. Feminine energy is the lovers. So, multiple confirmations. This is your twin flame, guys. If you're resonating with this. But yeah, they're, I'm hearing they're, they're ready to risk it all. Like, they're ready to leave behind people that they've grown up with for you. Because they... They're that in love with you. Wow, look at, as I say that, King of Cups, the Star, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, they want to express this to you. They've never felt this much love for someone. Um, and I'm hearing even if they're with someone else, like a karmic, this karmic knows about you. I don't know if they've actually openly talked about it to each other. I feel like they have, though. <clears throat> but this karmic is really pissed off at you. Divine Feminines. Even though it's it's not your fault. I mean, you're not in the relationship with them. Especially if you're falling back and you're minding your own business. If the Karmic's upset with you, that's because they're not wanting to be upset with this Divine Masculine. Because they're probably trying to make it work. But it's it's not your fault. If you're, if you're staying behind, staying back and not interrupting their life and all of this stuff. And you're not going out of your way to contact. That's between them. That has nothing to do with you. And this karmic is probably just in karmic energy. And that's probably why they're wanting to fight you. And why they're pissed off and they hate you. <clears throat> but this divine masculine wants to end things. They want to end, for one, this separation with you too. Which is, I mean, this is a beautiful card, guys. If you think about it. The Ten of Swords, it doesn't get any worse than this. This is rock bottom. This is like the end of the end. And it's, it's... And they want to end this separation with you because they feel so much for you. They want to message you and they want to talk about all the healing that they've done. And they want to start pouring into you. And they want to have an open, honest conversation about feelings. But they are wanting to end things with this karmic because they are madly in love with you. You know, they see you as an angel, an earth angel. They want to fix things with you. You're their wish fulfillment. They want to equally give to you. They want to spoil you. They want to take... The, what did I say, guys? They want to risk it all. Look at that. The fool. They want to risk it all because they're sad. I just saw 1723 or 723. They feel trapped in this situation. And they don't want to keep putting you in a third-party situation. I actually just want one card, though. God, Michael Spirit, can I get one card for the Divine Feminine? Yeah, they want to invest in you. They feel like you guys can build something here. Financially. They feel like there's been a lot of growth in this separation between you guys. But you guys haven't let go of each other at all. Even if it seems like you're moving on. Divine Feminines or you're talking with other people. You still haven't moved on fully from this Divine Masculine. <clears throat> and this divine masculine I just heard is going to come in the last, the last moment where, yeah, you're about to close out a cycle and they come in and, <laughs> dude, look, um, I'm so good. Look at this. When you're about to close out a cycle, empress in the world, divine counterparts, emperor, emperor, empress came out together. Yeah, Divine Feminines, I feel like you're about to start changing your mindset into more of a positive mindset. Because we, we have have faith here and bad help, health. You could, be, you could be 31, but you could be focusing. 13 could be significant as well. Oh, I think it's actually January 13th as I'm filming this. Um, wow, look at this, guys. The Hierophant. Marriage, marriage. Triple confirmation. So we got triple confirmation. With twin flames, triple confirmation about marriage, divine counterparts. Uh, and, oh man, this is a crazy reading. This is crazy. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is the truth. I feel like Michael is guiding you guys in this uh, union to this whole journey. I feel like they've been. Uh, he's been protecting you, and this is giving me God vibes too. Yeah, God has definitely put his hands over you guys and kept you safe. 
may have blocked you from noticing things to begin with, but that's just because the separation had to happen. But yeah, Divine Feminines, once you start having more faith and stop hesitating that you don't think this is going to happen and you have faith in the union and you focus on yourself, get your health better, focus on your career, you'll, you'll close out this cycle, this repetitive cycle. You keep going with your Divine Masculine round and round. You know, energetically they come and then they pull or physically they come and then they pull away. But, and again, Empress is... Um, is fertility guys so yeah loss of life brings in new life is what i just heard all right let's clarify well not clarify let's get some messages for divine feminine one more i'm done i'm done guys i'm done look at this Four of Wands, another Twin Flame card, another Marriage card, another Moving In Together card. That is crazy. And I love, dude, I love that this card is going under Palm Tree, Lovers, Passion. You guys are going to have it all. Stability, Home, Lovers, Passion, Sex, Marriage, like you name it, you guys have it. You guys are Divine Counterparts. This... Damn, this Divine Masculine is going to be in this King of Wands energy and they're going to come towards you and they're going to make it known that they want you and only you and they'll fight off the competition, dude. They will fight off the competition. Damn, this is a dope ass energy. I don't even say that shit. So maybe some of you guys say that. I channeled that in my other reading too about someone's personality. But damn, this is awesome. Look at this. This King of Wands knows they have to speak their truth and give you clarity. And they're gonna they're gonna be like transformed. They're gonna be a whole different person because the divine intervened and said, Hey, fuckface, what are you doing? You're letting go a divine angel. I literally dropped an angel on your lap and you're gonna turn away for a karmic? No, bruh, no. That's crazy. I'm so excited for you guys. Whoever's reading this is, this is awesome, dude. This is awesome. All the holding on that you guys have been doing, it's paying off. I'm telling you, it's paying off. Let's get one more. Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's when you pulled away from them, Divine Feminines. It's when you started detaching and focusing on yourself. Your finances, your health, your 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 mental health, having faith, praying more, affirmations, meditations, yoga I'm hearing, um, taking up a new hobby, just being positive. Whenever a negative thought comes in your head, switch it to positivity. You allow the universe to surprise you and allow anybody and anything to come in. And this is why this Divine Masculine decides to come towards you and step it up. Yeah, you guys have healed each other. You're each other's greatest teachers. And we saw that with the lovers and the devil too because that is mirroring energy. That is so freaking awesome, guys. You have no idea. This is such an awesome reading. Guys, I hope this is me and my Divine Masculine. If you want my honest spin. Okay, bottom of the deck is I love your curves. I'm going to shuffle on this end. And then I will put out the cards over there. The only reason is because I'm tired of the mess all the time. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this all nice and neat. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content. I would love for you guys to join the Divine Feminine family. And guys, Karmix, you're welcome. You're welcome to join as well, too. Because we've all been karmics in someone's situation or relationship or whatever. It's all about learning lessons, guys. There's no hard feelings. Even me, personally, I don't hate my Divine Masculine's karmic. He hates me. <laughs> but I don't hate him. You know? It is what it is. If you want my honest opinion, never mind. Actually, I'm going to say it. I don't really like my Divine Masculine's bestie. She pisses me off more than the karmic does. <laughs> but that's just because she, yeah, she didn't really like me and said a lot of bunch of shitty ass shit about me. 
<clears throat> but even at that, guys, I would still help her. You know that? Like, I literally talked to... I just saw 444 when I said that. I literally talked to my son's mother about that. And I even said, if she was to come towards me and ask me for help, I still would help her. Because that's just who I am. You know? We have Sing to Me. <laughs> oh, uh... That song from the movie Sing, Hallelujah, just came into my mind by Tori Kelly. Bro, dude, my Divine Masculine, she she gives Tori Kelly vibes. Like, the good kind. Anyways, <laughs> let's fix this. I gotta shut up before I get myself in more trouble. Look, I'm being good, guys. I'm minding my own damn business over here in my little RV. <sighs> I'm hearing that song by um, Justin Timberlake again, though, guys. Mirrors. All right, we have money issues. So this should be your soul fo focus. Divine feminines, divine masculines. This is what you, not soul fo focus, but you need to focus on stability. It seems to be a big thing. And guys, I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie. I keep hearing pregnancy. Someone could be pregnant, guys. If you guys are pregnant, congratulations. You can leave it in the comments. We can all congratulate you. But yeah, I keep hearing that. Dance with me. I also heard uh, dance for me. So maybe someone is a dancer or they just want to dance with you. Oh, you know what, guys? You know what? I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm done. We have union, definitely. You guys are going to come into union. Talk to me for hours. So it's not just passion, guys. They love talking to you. It turns them on. Let's make out together. Maybe you guys go back and forth from talking and making out. You know how like you're kind of being like flirty and you're kissing and still talking to that person and they're getting lost in your kiss? I love that shit. <laughs> Holding hands. Aw, you guys are so sweet. T-shirt, blue jeans, and boots. Boots go and boogie. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard that. Um, intense. Aw, do you love me? Yes. Wow, this is perfect. Do you love me? And look at right after. I love you with every fiber of my being. You got your answer, Divine Masculines. We have camping. We did get the mountains card, so. Move in with me. Oh my gosh, the confirmations in this damn video. I'm so hyped. You calm my mind. Yeah, this person uses you as an es escape. Ooh. Cocaine. You know, when I was pre-shuffling, I did get the addictions card again. But I put it back in. So they could be working on this. And look, guys. Bad health. Right here. This could be you too, Divine Feminine. So be careful. Or this could be like a metaphor for your cocaine. Like your drug of choice kind of thing. Um, come towards me. Yeah, you could be distancing yourself with this Queen of Swords energy. So, they're telling you to, like, kind of put your walls down a little bit. I want to protect you. For sure. Especially if there is a karmic that's wanting to fight you or get physical. Or, like, just start shit with you. They're wanting to protect you. They're probably wanting to handle that situation before they come towards you so there's no issues. But I am sensing with this connection, guys, if both of you, Divine Feminines or Divine Masculines, have exes of some sort, they're going to try to interfere. But as stable as you guys are going to be and as passionate and loving that you guys are going to be for each other. I just saw 919, um, 29, 19 as well. I feel like you guys are going to have each other's back. I don't think anyone's going to be able to, like, shake you guys. It's not going to be easy, for sure. 
But if you guys stick together and you trust each other and you're open and you communicate about it, you guys will will be good. You're destined. Remember, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the lovers. That's a destined twin flame connection. Soulmate. <clears throat> yeah, see? Us against the world. Someone could call you sweetheart. Because I, when I read this, I heard us against the world, sweetheart. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you got that James Dean daydream look in your eyes. <laughs> uh, daydream. Uh, uh, sorry. James Dean vibes. So your person could have that. And honestly, when I read this next card, Red Dress, I heard Marilyn Monroe. So I do feel like you guys are timeless. And I did say you guys find each other in every lifetime and you guys are into... I didn't mean to say intimate. I meant to say in a relationship or married. So I, and we all know James Dean and Marilyn Monroe, they're, they're timeless. You know, I'm done playing games. Guys, I don't usually say this in my videos, but go in the comments and claim this. I just saw 30, 30 when I said that claim this message work. Yeah, it's time to put in the work, guys. Both Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. You both need to put in the work. Sunset Drives. <laughs> what? Look at this. Will you marry me? Guys, we have a question. Do you love me? Will you marry me? I feel like this Divine Masculine is going to come with you. Come towards you and ask you a lot of questions. I don't know what to say. Say your feelings. Let it flow. Um, I just heard there there could be a divine masculine that's afraid that if they let their feelings flow, like if they express, they're going to start crying. And they're okay with like a little tears, but they don't want to like be bawling in the middle of like a restaurant. And I think that's what they're afraid of. This could be why we were getting the king of swords energy too. They're still wanting to like appear strong but again this is why they need to continue their work because we have this mentality and trust me guys a year ago i hated crying i mean i it's still not my favorite thing to do in front of people but i felt like it was such a weakness to be vulnerable but honestly that's your strength it really is i i just saw two one two i i if I love someone and I'm telling them I love someone and I start crying, I, I'm okay with it now. Before, I had an issue, you know. I lied to protect my heart. Yeah, that, that bit him in the ass. I want to know if you're feeling this connection. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you're feeling it, Divine Masculines, and you haven't been able to let go of your Divine Feminine this long, they are feeling it. I promise you. Probably more than you guys sometimes. Nothing but us. Yeah, I told you, they're going to risk it. All they're going to care about is you guys. It's like... And we have us here that's capitalized, and then we have us against the world that was also capitalized. You guys could also be from the U.S., but um, what I'm getting is like the us part. If you guys come together, nothing's going to be able to break you. You know, even if you guys have kids, remember the the household stability is. I just saw three, 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 is the people that are together, and then it branches out to kids, and then more kids and other family. But if this stays together, there's not. You don't have that broken home. You don't break that solid foundation that's where the us is important i love your lips <laughs> you know someone uh, left in the comments that i i think i pulled this card or i said you know that they love your lips and she was putting chapstick on her lips as i said it and I was thinking in my head, which I did not say to her because I didn't want her to think that I was, like, trying to hit on her. But I think it's, like, so sexy when women are, like, putting on chapstick or lipstick. Like, it just, that vibe is kind of, like, sexy to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. But 
I really, I love when women are like super feminine. Not all the time, because, you know, I like doing shit that's fun and, you know, like going camping. And if you're too much of a girly girl, you ain't gonna want to do that. But, yeah. Anyways, I'll shut up. <laughs> it isn't going to be easy for us. Yes! I'm t thank you, God. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Spear. Thank you for the confirmations. It's true. It's definitely not going to be easy for you guys. I was getting that hardcore. They miss your hugs. They want to hug you. Um, I also am hearing they miss the way you smell. So if you wear cologne or perfume, they, they miss that scent. Yeah, you are the love of my life. They know that you are. No one's going to get in the way of that is what I just heard. <laughs> I love you. Take me deeper. They want to know every inch of your soul, guys. They really deeply want to know you. Like, better than anyone in the whole world. They want to know you. And I feel like they want you to know them as well. Which is probably why there's passion and you guys are gonna have, like, some bomb-ass fucking sex. Because, honestly, it's one thing to just, like, straight fuck. It's another thing when you guys are deeply in love and you... You know each other's soul. Like, soul merging sex is a whole different vibe than, you know, just a one-night stand, basically. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys cry. If you guys haven't been together. Or if you have been together and you guys come back. And you guys are intimate together after all this healing. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys end up crying from, like, um... I've never cried during sex, but... Um, apparently it's when you're really, really fucking in love. <laughs> um, I love your smile. Someone could have dimples as well, guys. I think they just love your face. Because we have, I love your lips, I love your smile. Did we get the eyes one? No. How many of my secrets do you know? Soul connection. Oh, I never pulled this card on a reading over here. Like, a collective reading. It was love at first sight. Yeah, the second this person saw you, they were instantly attracted to you. They instantly felt some kind of connection with you. We have little black dress. So they're definitely going to... Uh, well, maybe you guys like wearing dresses for them or they're going to wear dresses for you take you how it resonates, whatever the energy or the gender is. We have water and earth that seems to come out every single time. <laughs> um, yeah, we have social media here. I'm afraid of you breaking my heart. This could be past energy. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a mask. I'm afraid of you breaking my heart. And then we have sing in social media. Maybe someone sings on social media and they see it and they like it. Uh, let's get, what, what's the time? What's the time? Okay, um, what do we want to get? Mm, uh, this one. Let's see what you guys need to work on. Actually, no, this one. Soul Journey. God, Michael Spear, what messages, what does the Divine Feminine need to work on at this time to help come into union? help on their journey to their highest and greatest good. What is, what does the Divine Feminine have to work on? You got that James Dean daydream look in your eyes. Uh, forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So this could be what you need to work on. You could need to forgive your twin for something or our past people, relationships, empathy i am open to seeing both sides of the situation so whatever secrets they're afraid to tell you be open to that conversation i'm also hearing things that were done during separation or said be open to that we have doubt i release the need to know all the answers and that's coming under having faith guys right here so doubting is something you have to work on let's get three more please happiness I'm aware that ha being happy means that I am on the right path. So 
Be happy, guys. You deserve to be happy. I'm being drawn to these dolphins. So that can mean something. Persever perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So you are capable of anything. Any career endeavors. Any forgiveness. Any anything. Yeah, use your imagination, guys. Imagination. I embrace and nourish, nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So you guys could be needing to dive into your creative side. If you're a writer, you're an artist. If you're a dancer, if you're, um, I don't care if you're a mime. You know, you guys got to dive into what makes you happy, your creative side. Keep in mind, we are divine feminine beings. And our sacral chakra is not just meant for birthing new life. It is a creative aspect. That's why if we have this kundalini awakening type sensations or any type of sensations as far as like sexual sensations, if we need to relieve ourselves because we're trying to be celibate during our our spiritual awakening, we can push that energy and put it into our creative endeavor, endeavors. That is probably why a lot of my poems are erotic poems, guys, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So you could be dealing with a little bit of ego here, guys. Um, yeah, just work on that. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I just saw 411 or 111 again. Adversary. I don't know why I keep saying this word wrong i know why it's my speech impediment so sorry guys adversity i accept the challenges are the best way to learn so if you're being hit with challenges after challenges and you don't know what's going on and you feel like you're gonna break just breathe take in a deep breath pray to god source energy spiritual guides whoever you you talk to and just ask for guidance and ask for strength to keep pushing and guidance to know where you need to go. Okay? Guys, I hope this helps. I love you. Hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. And like I said, karmics, you guys are welcome to learn. We all have this process right here. You know, just because you're not meant to be with someone doesn't mean that your life is over. God takes care of you guys just as well as twin flames, just as well as soulmates. Everyone deserves love. You're not going to be left behind, guys. Everyone is going to be good in the long run. All right. I love you. Peace.